Hi, this is Harkuvar Singh and I am pursuing my post-graduation fellowship from Indian Academy of Optometry in the stream of pediatrics. Well, today I am going to discuss and demonstrate the topic vision therapy as my practical session. So vision therapy, it is uh, the therapy which is used uh, very long days and decades back to improve the vision in children and pediatric patients. And vision therapy uh, is made up of two words, vision and therapy, uh, which means that the procedures or the methods which are used to improve the vision in children without the use of any medications or medicines. Um, well, there are many abnormalities in a children like amblyopia, squint, asthenopias, and tosses, and phorias, tropias, etc., which are being improved and managed, well managed by this therapy. There are many procedures which are done under this therapy. There are mainly two types of therapies which are introduced up to date, which is active vision therapies and passive vision therapies, depending upon the mechanisms which are being used into in them. So there are uh, five things which I am going to talk for the demonstration of this practical. First one is pencil push-up test, which is also known as PPUT and it is generally mean that uh, when the patient or a ch uh, child comes to your clinic uh, we are going to improve its uh, converge uh, the patient is having convergence insufficiencies or any tropia exotropia so we are use using that skills or the therapy to uh, in move the eyes inward generally so it is helps to improve the convergence in insufficiency in a patient so what's the method in pen pencil push-up test? Well, there is, uh, you can say, there is one pointer size object. You can see clearly, here it is. You can draw some icons over it, like I have drawn. Okay, so they are being drawn. A child is told to look at one structure at one point of time. They will be looking at, you will be taking it like this way, at an arm distance. And slowly, 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 steadily, you're going to take it towards a child, children's children eye. And then uh, the main aim of the this test is not to see double objects, but only one single object. You have to instruct the child before that you have to see only one object. And that point of time, if he is going to see the blur, blurring of blurring of the pencil or the pointer that you're going to use, you have to take the pencil back that is pencil this one is pencil push up and this one is pencil push down test so you're going to take out these points respectively these uh, these exercises can be done at home if they are being instructed very properly uh, to the children's patient as well as the children who are going to do by it own self also here is a quick demonstration for pencil push up test a child will come to your clinic after asking the patient history we are going to perform the test here when the child will see double we have to take the pencil back well there are so many computer programs or softwares which are used as vision therapy softwares so many of them are sanit vision integrator visual prime amblyo amblyopi Oculator, optics tracker and there are many others so but i have used uh, visual prime and amblyopi software in which uh, the patient which has been accurate for for use of the amblyopias and tropias virgin test also if you can can't use any uh, methodology methodological high methodological software you can also use some games which are being integrated into the computers or your laptops uh, they can be used as color vision therapies also if the child is being uh, going to school and doing the stuff of and he knows the alphabets well so you can use some games which are being used for the alphabetical orders so here is the quick demonstration which i have e. very good you which color is s Range. s very oh, good yes. now we will talk about lens and prism fixation 
Well, as an optometrist, it's a prime major duty that we provide basic and more knowledge regarding the lens and prism fixation to our children and their patients. As a child which has came to our clinics for vision therapy and vision therapy and other problems, so we have to conclude out the proper lens or the uh, prisms which are we are going to prescribe to the patient. Well, uh, prisms are generally prescribed to the patient which is having, uh, which who are having exophorias, tropias generally, so that we can influence the eyes either to go inwards or outwards depending upon the tropia is. So lens fixation can also be done uh, with enormous, enormous lenses like for positive lenses also, negative lenses also. So here, is here you can see that lens fixation plays an important role. He was having convergent squint as well as an amblyopia. Now we will talk about very effective therapy in vision therapy which is patching and it is generally used worldwide for treating amblyopia and more primarily uh, managing the amblyopia which is the lazy eye in the children. Well, uh, in simply way, we can also use patches which have been colored or uh, in skin toned or in any color. We can use a patch over the spectacle. You can see the spectacle is being uh, patched for the one eye. We can introduce the patch at very early age also or the age which has been respond, well respond uh, when the amblyopia has been diagnosed. So we have to cover one eye subsequently at particular days at a particular intervals. So, to make the lazy eye work efficiently and improve the vision in it. So that we can stimulate the eye and brain coordination. So their proper functioning of eye can occur. So the child can be improve its vision by its own by looking at an object far, distance, near, intermediates and so on. So it's a widely used and accepted therapy for the amblyopias, amblyopic people, children I would say. So, here is a quick demonstration for it. Very good. Pink, green, yellow. Very good. Here you can see the child is being put on with patch and he is performing saccadic eye tracking very good. Very which helps good. him to improve the vision. And finally we are going to talk about synaptophore. It's an orthoptic ophthalmic instrument which is being used to compensate and find the squint angle in children. As well as, as, well as it is also used for pleoptics which is the active vision therapy induced in the children to more efficiently visual function can happen into their eyes and here you can see a child is being placed at synaptophore he is performing his plea optics exercises it is basically uh, devised into uh, use for three diagnosing the three uh, binocular single vision uh, factors which is simultaneous perception fusion and steropsis and we can also find the squint angle that how much the squint is being caused, how much the isotropia or exotropia is being into the child.